Hi people, TS here. Welcome back to Living Bless TV. Um, just doing my review of our 3-2 um, Premier League defeat at home to Crystal Palace. Um, this was a game that I was relatively confident we would get a result in. Um, I didn't do uh, a preview prior to the game um, due to um, family reasons and, you know, having stuff to do, um, you know, work, family, etc. Um but you know, I thought that this was a game that we 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 would win, and bearing in mind how our home form has been this season, um, I thought we would get a result. But when I saw that starting lineup, I, I'll be honest, I wasn't filled with any bit of confidence um, whatsoever. Um, we saw what El Nenny and Guendozi was like as a midfield pairing against Everton away, so why stick with them two again in midfield? Um, for this game, I completely have no idea. I understand that you know we're at a current stage in the season where we need to be rotating players, but come on, seriously, um, those two guys of all two should not be starting in, mid in midfield next to one another. Um, I know Torreira's on the bench, but still, if if you, if you want to rest the guy, start him and bring him off. Um, in defence, obviously, Socrates was suspended for the game, and you know we went with a back three of. Um, Koscielny, Mustafi, and Monru. Koscielny, Mustafi, and um, Mavropanos. Sorry, I'm so used to to Monreal playing, but you know, Monreal usually when he plays, he does a good job. Mavropanos, you know, is what he's proper like second game back, really in the first team. Um, and you know, you can see that he's not up to to speed at all. Um, but Mustafi, I tell you what, that guy is finished. Um, he he was already finished time before. Um, he's put in a couple of decent performances playing that right back when we've been playing a back four. But he is finished at the club. That Zaha goal yesterday summed him up, summed him up completely. And you know, I expect him to be gone in the summer transfer window. The first transfer news of the summer transfer window, I expect it to be that Mustafi has been sold because he is absolutely dog doo doo. You know, that's that's the reality of it. Um, you know, the facts of the matter is Emery put out a, a, a shocking team to try to do the job. Yes, we got it back to 1-1. One, one. Yes, Mustafi made a mistake. But at the end of the day, you know, some players are just not good enough for the for this team. Um, you know, I see some fans go in on the likes of Jenkinson, El Nenny, And, you know, it's all good going in on them, but... At the same time, we know they're not good enough for the. We know they're not good enough for, um, for the team. So when you see them play and they play don't play well, you know it's it's not really a surprise. I look at it and thinking in midfield we could have played that, we could have even tried to play the Maitland Niles there. I know that he's not you know, he's been play, more playing this right wing back stuff. But if you're gonna put Jenkins in there, at least try to put my man in there or something. Or what about the likes of Joe Willock? He, he he come in, he scored three goals in the FA Cup game. Yes, it's the FA Cup. Yes, it was Blackpool. It was on the Premier League side. But surely these guys can't be playing one week. One week they can play in the first team where it's not such a big game and then we re resort to this sort of madness. Ugh, it's a joke. But, you know, we move on to the next game, um, which, of course, is Wolves away. Um, of course, I'll be doing a preview for that. And, you know, I expect a much better performance in that game. And, you know, I expect us to go f as fully strength as possible as we can do. Um, of course, Socrates will be back in the defence, which will be, you know, um, quite pivotal and essential for us um, in terms of defending. And, you know, going forward, we just need to create more and be more clinical. And, that, and that's all I can say, really. Um, of course, let me know your thoughts um, on the game down below in the comment section. And of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and I'll catch you later.